guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am doing a almost three year overdue video. I'm going to be filming my very first Q&A and I'm gonna be getting ready. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the products, but that's not the main focus today. Um, little disclaimer, because you guys know I do wanna be as transparent as possible with you guys. This video is not sponsored by anybody. I purchase all of the products that I'm using with my own money. Literally, I'm just using random products today, no rhyme or reason. I am making a small commission from linking a few brands to the direct website, which I believe are like the L'Oreal brands, um, Kiehl's, Urban Decay, and Lancome. So I will put a little disclaimer down below as well, just so you guys know, but literally nobody told me what products to use. <laughs> nobody offered to send me anything. I think they're just trying to promote instead of using Sephora, just to use the actual store links, which is what I should get better at doing anyways, but did just want to let you guys know that. Anyways, let's uh let's get into it. So I've never done a Q&A before because I'm, I always feel like nobody is interested in anything about me, but you guys, you guys came through, let me show you. So we're good. I'm good on questions, I think. I was worried. I don't know why, I just, I, <laughs> I don't know why I'm like this. Let's start off though, priming my face. My skin's feeling really dry, so I'm gonna use the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I just have this sitting on my desk. This is like a classic, one of their best products. It's really nice, pretty lightweight. I know this is gonna feel like an ad because the first few products are gonna be those ones that I'm linking directly to the store, but I swear to you. <laughs> it just worked out that way. I'm gonna answer questions based on like what was asked the most. Some were personal, some were not so personal. A very, very, very popular question that I was surprised by was how did you and Jose meet? So if you don't know, Jose is my husband. We got married this summer. I'm using Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow face primer. This is kind of like the milk makeup grip primer, but I like it better. The grip primer makes me break out, I think. And this is a little bit less sticky, but it still gives you a little bit of stick. I'm gonna use my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. So Jose and I met while we were in college. We went to the same college together. We went to a really, really small private college out in the middle of nowhere, West Virginia. And him and I had like zero mutual friends, really. I think he saw me in like the cafeteria or something and you know, thought I was cute or whatever. <laughs> There's nothing to do at my school, literally. Middle of the nowhere, West Virginia. And there was a local, I guess kind of like bar that everybody would go to on the weekend. And he ran track and I was in a sorority and I was with one of my friends in my sorority. I was never <laughs> like a big sorority girl, but I had a few friends in there. And one of my friends was on the track team so she kind of knew Jose and Jose expressed interest with me. So we met that night. And I mean, I'm not gonna say the rest is history cause that's corny and it really wasn't as simple from there because I was graduating. He was going back to Spain. He's from a whole other country. So it wasn't simple after that, but that is how we met. I thought he was pretty funny. So another question that I was surprised by kind of pertaining to Jose is if I would ever move to Spain because that's where he's from. That's where he is a citizen. I'm using the Urban Decay Brown Blade in Neutral Nana. Right now, no, I would be pretty useless in Spain. I don't really speak Spanish. Like at all, I have the knowledge of a two-year-old. They probably speak better than me, honestly. I'm trying to learn Spanish. I'm not even really trying. I need to learn Spanish. But the problem is I just don't have time, you know? Between working full-time, basically doing YouTube full-time, I feel like I work like a full-time YouTuber. Throwing in learning a whole other language, <sighs> I just can't. So I don't have a Spanish degree. I don't even speak the language. So if we were to move to Spain, I would be so so useless it's not off the table i we have talked about moving to spain kind of when we've done what we needed to do in america so i think when we get older depending on kids and that whole situation i do think we'll at least retire in spain maybe that's like a long long ways away but that's something that we talked about because jose does have a lot more family than i have here 
I don't really have a huge family or anything and Jose's family is quite large because my mom's family is all from Singapore so I only have my dad's side of the family here whereas you know all of Jose's family lives in Spain. Well, I was surprised at how many people asked that. Um, definitely won't be moving to Spain anytime soon. Another question I got, do you have any other like work besides YouTube? Which yes, I talk about it all the time. So if you watch my channel regularly, you already know I am an elementary school PE teacher. I am currently teaching online full time. So that's how I'm able to have extra time to work on my channel right now. As of now, we are going back in the building mid-January. <sighs> Subject to change, I'm sure, with the way that the numbers are going right now. And once I go back into the building, I most definitely will be not be posting as frequently as I am now. I've definitely taken full advantage of the full online to try and grow my channel as much as possible, produce as much content as possible. And once we get into the building, it'll slow down for sure. Full-time PE teacher for elementary school. Last year, I was a middle school school PE teacher. So that was my first year of teaching. This is my second year and I moved to an elementary school and so far I really like it but it's hard to tell when we are 100% online. I've never met my kids in person. When we go back into the building I won't know who they are. You know we're wearing face masks. They've never seen me in person before so really weird year to get into teaching. I've officially been teaching online more than I have in person. So I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics concealer never i haven't used this in a while and we're gonna use the new sonia g mini base brush when will you and jose be living together in your own house or apartment yeah if you don't know my living situation i know a lot of you have been curious right now we are living with my parents jose and i are going through an immigration process so he is not allowed to work for the unforeseeable <laughs> amount of future and even when he is allowed to work i mean with what's going on in the world right now who knows when he'll be able to get a job so just you know to make things a little bit easier on me my parents were kind enough to let us live with them and I mean I like living with my parents I get along really well with my parents and so does Jose so we don't mind it we have a very good relationship with my parents so we are looking to move into our own place when Jose can get a job the goal is by the summer I'm using Charlotte Tilbury magic powder it's really not in our hands right now we're still finishing up the adjustment of status paperwork for Jose to even turn it in for him to be considered for work and a green card and all of that so truly we have no clue but hopefully sometime in 2021 and we're looking to move into an apartment i kind of told jose you know he did move across the world for me so he can get a job really wherever he wants so wherever he gets a job is where we will move to because i did get asked where i live i currently live in maryland but i don't know that it's a permanent situation for us i'm pretty open i think jose wants to move somewhere a little bit more closer to the city i live about an hour outside of washington dc and i think for him and i we'd get along better at a more city-like area i live in a suburb outside of dc so we're looking to get into an apartment not in in dc because that's so pricey but just somewhere where there's more you know because jose is from madrid so he's used to the city life and i forgot to moisturize my lips they're looking crusty i'm gonna use the kiehl's lip balm i have a holiday set here i got this because jose wanted some lip balms and I thought this was a really, really cute set. Lots of questions also about would you ever become a full-time YouTuber? Would you ever leave teaching to become full-time? And if you had asked me this a year ago, I would have said no. I never had interest in YouTube. I never thought YouTube would become a uh, full-time opportunity for me. You know, I went to school four years for teaching, four and a half actually. My major goal when I first started, one, I was obviously looking for people to talk to about makeup and I felt like I did have some knowledge that I wanted to share and help people. I'm an educator at heart. I wanted to help in every realm that I knew. I'm using the Tower 28 Bronzino West Coast Bronzer. I'm gonna use a Sonia G 
face brush, the mini base. So yeah, if you had asked me that year ago, absolutely not. However, I really think in 2020, just with all that's going on, was the first year that my mindset on that kind of shifted. I, like I said, I use teaching online. I didn't like that brush for that, by the way, so I'm using a sponge. I took advantage of teaching online to try and grow my channel more, grow my base more, expand my content. And I mean, it's been very, very successful. I'm very proud of how hard I worked just so that by the time that I went back into the building, I would have that bigger base. And I forgot to mention this, but my original goal, besides just looking for someone to talk to about makeup and to share my education, I thought it would be really cool if one day YouTube could supplement what I wanted to buy so that I wouldn't have to use my own work money. And I'm more than past that point, which is so amazing. I'm so thankful. And this year, because of COVID is the first time that I would actually consider going full-time on YouTube because I treated, especially in the summer when I wasn't teaching, I treated my YouTube as if it were my full-time job and I have loved every second of it. And don't get me wrong, I really do love teaching, but there's a lot of things, if you're a teacher, you know that <laughs> that's not to love about teaching as well. And so I've really been enjoying YouTube. It doesn't feel like work to me. It doesn't feel like a job to me. I look forward to sitting down, filming, editing, all of that. So I do feel like this is the first year that I've considered maybe pursuing it as a full-time opportunity while I have the ability and I do have the opportunity that's giving to me. You know, I have a degree. I have two degrees, actually. I also have a degree in psychology and I'm using, by the way, the Chanel blush in number 21. It is a gorgeous soft pink blush that I'm slowly building up. So I mean, to answer your question, it's a goal that I'm not pushing. If things continue to go how they're going, I've been really enjoying myself. And there's a lot of moving parts to that because I've talked to Jose about it and he's very, very supportive in whatever I decide to do. I'm using the Lancome Le Monochromatic Eclat. And this is really cool. You can use it as eyeshadow or a highlight. I'm just going to use it as highlight today. Jose is supportive in whatever I decide to do. He has an unbelievable amount of belief in my channel and what we can grow it to be. So if Jose is able to get a job and it would be, you know, financially possible. And if, especially if we have to move for his job, I absolutely would consider going full time with YouTube because I love it, you guys. I am thriving and I will always have the ability to go back to teaching. You know, that's not something that once I don't do it, it's off the table forever. Whereas YouTube, I do feel like if you want to do it, like you have to take the opportunity. You don't get that opportunity every day. So that's kind of my mind. Mindset. I'm kind of going with the flow. Whatever happens, happens. There's a lot of changing parts with Jose and I and his immigration status and his work. We just don't know what even the next six months are going to bring. It is absolutely something that I am considering. I'll be very honest. So that's why I'm like trying to put out as much content as possible right now while I can. So if I do need to go full time with YouTube, like we move and I can't get a job or something like that, I have something to back us up, you know? That was a very long-winded question. I got a couple questions about my mom, when she would be on my channel, all of that. And let's go on to eyeshadow, by the way. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Palette. I've been using this a lot lately, and I just feel like there's so many looks that I wanna create. So that is why I'm using that again. I got questions about if I had any siblings. I do not. I am an only child and my mom is not interested on coming on camera. I would love it. We've talked about it. I think it would make a really great video. You guys would love her. She has a lot of knowledge on makeup as well, but she just doesn't feel comfortable with it and I can't force her if she doesn't feel comfortable. She feels comfortable sitting behind the screen during my lives and talking to you guys. So that's probably all you're gonna get for the time being. Maybe one day. She's very scared of being awkward on camera, which I can understand because that's weird. Honestly, I feel like I would feel weird with her on camera because I'm so used to just talking by myself, nobody else hearing me. <sighs> 
I think if I were to wean her into it, we would do like a makeup collection so you guys could see her makeup collection. She has quite a lovely makeup collection or something like that. But we'll see. You know, if you want to communicate with my mom, join my lives. She sits in and helps answer questions because I'm the worst answering comments if I'm really focused on what I'm doing. Do you ever get lazy from editing and how do you keep on editing so many videos? Yes, editing is not my forte. I have a pretty good formula of how I edit my videos and I just do it. You know, I do the bare minimum. I make sure that the, my content itself, like what I film is good enough. So even if my editing is not that good, at the very least, the content is good. I've gotten really, really fast at editing my own videos, you guys. It's just, they're nothing fancy. And that's how I'm able to sustain that. I will say recent change, a lot of you guys know about this. Since Jose is done with college, he has time, you know, he can't really work. Jose's actually a very, very, very talented editor. He loves to edit videos. He's been editing my videos. It's made a huge difference in the time I have available and the quality of my videos are so much better. This color is so patchy, you guys. Oh no, I'm just having sh problems blending this. But yeah, he's made a huge difference and his editing is really good. You guys seem to be loving it. So that is how he's helped me recently with editing. He's been editing some videos for me. I still edit videos because at the end of the day, he doesn't understand makeup. So a lot of the videos I feel like because I know what I'm talking about and I understand makeup, I know where the products are supposed to go. I know what I want to say. I do take the liberty to still edit some videos but I've been throwing a lot of videos at him lately and it's really been saving me a lot of time but I don't like editing. I don't. I just kind of do the bare minimum and make sure that I do a good job with the filming portion which I do like. How do you balance everything and make time slash stay focused you do so much like I said working from home has made the biggest difference for me to be able to put so much time into YouTube I've always put a lot of time into YouTube even when I did go into the building like I would still post multiple times a week but one thing about me is that I've always had a really good work ethic like I'm not a procrastinator I just don't you know that <laughs> and so it is really innate how I am so I always am pretty busy but I am also really good at scheduling time for myself I feel like and the thing with YouTube is to me it doesn't really feel like work I like kind of sitting down laying in bed and editing photos that doesn't feel like I'm working that's me relaxing so that also mentally is part of how I'm able to do it because it's not a lot of oh, I gotta get up and film today oh, I have to edit this video I mean sometimes it is but for the most part like it just doesn't feel that way to me and I really like this Too Faced palette by the way but that purple shade because I'm like halfway paying attention attention to it was giving me some trouble. It was not blending itself out. But I mean, my tips as far as being able to balance everything would be to-do lists. To-do lists save my life. I just love crossing them off and just scheduling everything out and having a schedule that makes sense, you know. I have uh, Tuesdays. I normally teach a lot. Like, I don't have much break in between my teaching days. I know I'm really tired and I won't have energy to film, so I know, okay, I'll edit a video that day and if I do have pockets of time I'll dedicate that to either editing or filming and it's just I put myself on a schedule and I just sit down and do it it's the kind of thing where the thought of doing it is really what paralyzes you and stops you from actually doing things but if you just do it it's not that bad I schedule the videos I want to film or I schedule at least the times that I want to film so a planner will save your life we're gonna do this shade now what a typical day looks like for me is I, of course, dedicate my teaching time, my contracted teaching time to teaching. Of course, during the day, I'll stop in on some stories. I'll check my YouTube account. I've been very bad at replying to comments lately and DMs. I'm very sorry. I'm just, it's a very busy season, not only for YouTube, but also for my job. So I haven't been answering comments as much as I should have, but I'll do like small things like that during the day for YouTube, but mostly my contracted teaching time is my teaching time. And then I'll spend the evenings filming or editing, kind of depending on what my schedule has and what I need to upload or if I need to film. Daytime hours for work work 
evening hours for YouTube. And then I do spend a lot of time on the weekend also kind of pre-filming or editing, creating content. So that way, if I'm feeling lazy during the week and I don't want to do anything, I've done the work on the weekend. So, I mean, essentially like the answer is I just, I work my butt off. I don't really get much free time for myself to like lay down and do nothing. Like laying down and doing nothing to me is laying down and editing or laying down and uploading a photo or something like that. You just kind of do it. I don't know. I've just always been really good about being productive, which is crazy. I'll complain about being productive and say, oh, I don't feel like being productive today, but I really am a productive person like I'm not gonna lie and like not only that but I don't have kids or anything you know I don't have a household to run so I'm very lucky that I have more time because of that I can't imagine having kids having a full-time job and also doing YouTube you guys are superheroes I'm gonna smudge on a little bit of the Urban Decay 24-7 glide on pencil in perversion fun fact these were my very first pencils that I ever used or eyeliners that I ever used growing up. I remember being in middle school using these and they're the best. Tips for YouTube beginner. So I do have a whole live that I did about all the tips that I have. If you're starting out a YouTube channel, I tell you what software, what equipment I use. I do highly recommend checking that live out if you're interested. I think that my number one tip would be though, if you're gonna do it, just do it. Don't do anything like halfway. I don't know, I just feel like if you're kind of halfway about doing your YouTube channel, nobody's gonna subscribe, then you're going to feel like you wanna quit. And for me, it was about investing my money into things like a camera and lighting. Like quality was something that was important to me from the beginning. Because just think about what you want to watch as a viewer, you know? I don't like watching videos where the quality is not very good. So I invested money <laughs> into the quality of my channel. That was a priority for me and for some people maybe obviously it's, that's very expensive a phone works great just make sure you have good lighting if you're gonna do it do it and don't like ponder should i do this blah 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 just do it and make sure you stick with it otherwise like your channel's not gonna go anywhere you know people can sense if you're into it or if you're not if you're committed if you're not they want to subscribe to you because you're committed to your channel so and i mean that's kind of like the harsh truth of it but just think about what you would want as a viewer i'm gonna use the lancome monsieur big mascara what is your ethnicity so i am half white my dad's family is from kentucky and then my mom's family is from singapore so i am half singaporean how old are you? I am 24. I will be 25 in May. I'm gonna use these D-Star lashes in the style page. I love the glitter background. How can you afford to buy so many expensive luxury makeup? Are you from a rich family? I think that's pretty easy to assume. Like what is this young girl doing buying luxury makeup? I, I did not grow up in a rich family. I mean everybody's perception of rich is different though. I think I would say by the American standards like we are middle class I am the only child so my parents didn't have to put their money towards anybody else besides me but no we didn't grow up rich or anything I don't live in a mansion or anything I've always just really liked luxury makeup and high-end makeup I still like drugstore makeup too like I still buy drugstore makeup I just happen to feature the luxury and high-end makeup that I buy and I really did get more into luxury makeup once I started doing YouTube I've always liked luxury, but I didn't have that much when I started out. But I'd been interested in it, and thanks to YouTube, thanks to you guys, you know, watching my videos, shopping through my links, I've personally been able to afford more luxury makeup. Obviously, like, I'm a teacher. I don't have a huge salary or anything, but how my finances are, my full-time job, you know, that pays for my loans, my student loans, oh my gosh, my bills, phone bills, all of that stuff. I'm very very blessed to live with my parents to be able to save money to eventually move out so I don't pay any rent right now and then with the YouTube stuff I'm very very blessed where the money that I make from my YouTube and my social media that goes back into buying products for my channel so that I can continue to produce content for you guys so it literally is because of you guys that I'm able to afford the makeup that I'm able to afford I feel like some people assume I'm going 
bankrupt for my channel like that's not the case I've always been very responsible with my money and I only really spend it on things that I like and it's gotten to the point now where my YouTube pays for my content so I'm not like blowing money just for my channel you know it's every piece of makeup that I buy is literally an investment for my business and for my dreams and I've gotten a lot better at buying makeup that I really just feature for my channel for a while when I was getting a feel for what did well on my channel what you guys wanted to see I actually spent a lot more money on kind of things that I wouldn't even feature I would just buy them to buy and I've gotten a lot more thoughtful with my purchases and I know I'm like kind of quiet about the money part and all of that because that is personal but I know if I was watching me I'd be curious as well so I mean that's how and how it started in the beginning I did have some help from my mom like her and I we share a makeup collection we aren't going too soon which is why I purchase a lot more for myself now but like we would go halvesies on things or she would buy something so I would feature it on my channel and I worked hard like I've always had a job and my money would go to makeup it really would I always saw in the beginning of my channel that when I would buy equipment or makeup that was an investment and it, it paid off you know but I'm very blessed definitely very blessed that my parents have really supported what I've done and most of the money into my channel has been through my own money earnings because you guys like there was a point in the beginning of my YouTube channel where I was working I was a long-term sub so I worked a full day, this is right out of college, full work day, and then I would drive like 40 minutes to go coach a sports team. And then on the days that I didn't do that, I would coach for like the county, like I would coach little kids. So there was one point where I was working three jobs on top of a YouTube channel to afford my YouTube channel and my bills and all of that stuff. So truly I have the money because I work hard. I worked a lot. And then when I was in college, I didn't have any financial responsibility, but I would do weird jobs in college. I would be like a soccer ball girl. I would work volleyball, um, the scoreboard, even though I didn't understand volleyball. <laughs> I, literally weird jobs in college to pay for that stuff. But I really wasn't too into YouTube when I was in college because I couldn't afford anything. I got really into YouTube once I was able and had the ability to work. I feel like I'm talking too much. Let me do my lips. I'm just gonna do a lip liner and I'm gonna try one of the new Fenty Glow Creams, which I'm gonna film a review on right after this video. Let's use Done Undone from Pat McGrath. Are there any other questions? Let's see. Do you feel overwhelmed by how much makeup you own? Like how do you manage using it all? Like I don't buy makeup to use it all so I don't feel overwhelmed. I don't feel the need to finish a product. It feels great to finish a product but that's not why I buy makeup. I buy makeup one to feature on my channel to review for you guys to help you with your buying needs. You know like I say I spend money so you don't have to. I'm helping people out. I profit from you guys watching those videos that pays for the product which in return helps you guys save your money because you can't profit from reviewing a channel if you're just a viewer. So that's kind of my mentality behind that all. I don't buy makeup to use it so I'm not going to feel overwhelmed to have to finish a product. And not only that, like I buy makeup because I like to look at pretty things. We're gonna use the cream in Fenty Glow because I think that's what's gonna go really good with my look. I also buy makeup because I like to look at pretty things. I like to swatch makeup. I like to take product shots. I get more out of makeup than just wearing it. And I do get a lot of hate comments for the size of my makeup collection. It's a waste, like it's not a waste. This is my hobby. Swatching products is my hobby. Applying makeup on camera is my hobby. Reviewing products, it's my passion. Sharing with you guys so that I can help you. That in of itself justifies how much I owe. And I don't think people talk about that enough on YouTube. I feel like YouTubers are very apologetic for the size of their collection. You don't need to just purchase makeup just to use it. And that goes for everybody. You know, even if you don't have a YouTube channel, if you sit there and you swatch your makeup at night and it brings you joy, that's why you purchased it, you know? I feel like people are so judgy. Like, people collect things. Makeup is no different. Like, sure, you know, it doesn't increase in value and it expires, but it's none of your business. 
Okay, anyways, I finished my makeup look by the way. That Fenty cream is really pretty. Kind of soft, like it's not super pigmented, but it has enough color. Ooh, I really like this look, it's really pretty. Not that it was much about the look. I'm trying to see if there's any other questions. It was hard for me to do my makeup and talk at the same time if you didn't notice. Do you still work as a pro MUA? <laughs> I feel like I don't consider myself to be a pro. I don't own my own makeup artistry business or anything. I don't have the time to do that. I work as like an independent contractor under one company. So she works with the contracts and all of that and I just kind of show up. If I do end up deciding to ever go full time with YouTube, I would also open up my own artistry business because I would have the time. So that also would be kind of the game plan. So I still am currently doing it, but not really because of COVID. But hopefully 2021, I'm looking to pick up more jobs. Have you ever thought about vlogging? I've thought about it. I've thought about creating a second channel to just post non-makeup related content whenever I feel like it, not like a channel to take seriously, but you guys don't want me to vlog. <laughs> I am so boring. I am such an introvert. I'm okay with staying in my house all day. Being stuck in my house hasn't been that big of a deal for me. I've kind of enjoyed it being like completely being honest. You know, there's some people that really struggle with lockdown and staying inside. For me, it hasn't been that hard. How do you deal with negative comments and hate and stop it from ruining your mood. I'm definitely still working on that. People on the internet write the craziest stuff and I feel like my channel has really grown in the last year. And so I've been getting more and more hate comments. And I always like, before I started my YouTube channel, I knew I would get hate and I was like, oh, you just like delete them and move on. And some people in some comments really do kind of, they get to me more than I would like to admit. I've come to the point where if anybody leaves me a comment, I'm sorry, even if it's not a hate comment, but if it doesn't make me feel happy, if it sparks any type of negative emotion I hide that user from my channel and uh, there has been instances where I understand not everybody really means anything in a negative way there are people that do but there are some comments where they don't mean it that way it just comes off that way I don't even care like I just hide them from my channel because the things people say on the internet are wild and even it's like if it's not truly a hate comment let me just say this if you start off a comment with this is not hate not to be rude anything like that most likely Likely, I probably hide you from my channel because that's just what works for me. Do you ever think about coming out with your own makeup line? Never say never, but that's not anything that I'm currently interested in at all. It, I think it's too much responsibility and I don't think I would be good at coming up with formulas. I'm actually quite an indecisive person. I wouldn't know what I would do. The best job for me, I feel like, would be for a brand to hire me and just test out products and tell them if it's gonna be good or not and like say yes or no to their ideas because I can't produce the ideas. I'm not creative enough for that, but I can tell you if it's good or bad. So that honestly would be the dream job for me to work for a big makeup company and just tell you, no, yes, no, this is ugly. This is not, this will sell well, this won't. I feel like I would be so good for that. Obviously I didn't answer all of the questions, but I feel like I answered the most asked ones and ones that would stem from other questions just with my very long winded answers. I'm gonna end the Q&A here. I think maybe next time if I do a q and I'll probably not do my makeup because I learned I'm not very good at talking while doing my makeup in this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry it was if it was really long. I have thought about a lot of these answers for a long time and how I would answer them for you guys because I do think about a lot like my YouTube channel and what my plans are and what my goals are and how I got to this point because naturally like you just wonder that about people that you watch. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.